Okay, guys, I am going to bring up the stream on my phone, but anyway, today we are going to do some Christmas event fishing. I want to do some crystal burbots because there might be a new way to actually do them. Um, so we're going to work on that today and test it all out. Um, that being said, let's get this up here, but I got to re-equip all my poles for going up to White Moose, and we are actually going to go ahead and open up the party i don't think anybody of our friends know we're on and here we go we should have some more people on today all right so if we're going to white moose we're gonna we'll take this and we're gonna do bottom rods as well oh we got to get rid of that how's it going dave um, we are getting ready to do crystal burbot, so, um, we'll bring one float pole and see if they still work for this. How's it going, Rex? Alright, what's going on? It's the controller wouldn't mess up again. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I figured they would, uh. <laughs> Thanks, Tess. Merry Christmas, Vin Diesel. That's great. Actually, it's been about a week or two since I heard heard about or heard a, a Vin Diesel joke on me. That's a good one, though. Honestly, I actually like that. You could be known for something a lot worse than that, Tess. That's for sure. I could be known as being an idiot, which I probably am too. But all right, we're gonna bring feeders with us, but I do believe we're only going to put it on one. Um, actually, I want to put slightly smaller feeders here. I'm going to do some crystal burbots to finish that up. I think, Rex. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I was going to end up doing another missions I got. I'm one of the good guys. Thanks, Tess. Um, we won't need worry about that. We won't need titanium leaders. Right, and then Yeah, let's get up there. Let's see what we got for reels. We have two of them. We need a a nine thousand and a ten thousand. 9,000 and 10,000. Put them in. Yeah, I went and repaired everything that was in my bag last time. Alright, so let's go to White Moose and get sorted out. That update they just put out, they didn't put out any information on it, right? What was it, some more bugs or something? Yeah, bug fix. That's what it's supposed to be. According to the update history, but that's all I had. Normally they'll say something on Fishing Planet, but they, they don't, or they didn't today, so. Kind of interesting. We're going to try yeah. something. Not one of the people told me about. I'm going to try a grub. All right, first things first. Before we put anything else in the water, I want to try this. Oh, I don't think I brought snow with me. Oh, I'm a, I'm an idiot. We can grab some while we're up here. Um, let's get rid of some of these. Yep, I want to remove. What? Ah, it looks like we have a new bug right off the bat. Wow. What's it doing? It's telling me stuff in my bag doesn't exist in my bag. See, I'll go over these ones again. 
But look, it'll say it does not exist. That's crazy. Man, these guys, these developers are having a rough go lately. It's like they fix one thing and they break two others recently. Mm -hmm. Try to empty this out so we can pick up some snow. These are almost gone. Anywho. They still haven't fixed the controller freeze on PC, but they finally fixed it on... Uh, okay, I haven't had the issue with it on... Um, let's go into... Who's up here? Let's go to a random lobby. Ouch. <coughs> I actually haven't had much of that issue on PS4 or PS5 myself, but... Alright, so... Let's go ahead and grab the snow pile. Whoa, some frames are sketchy there. So far, it seems more concerning than anything. Can we only get one from the snow pile? I can't remember anymore. Um, let's put this in our big rod deadly doodler. Kids finally got me sick again. Dang. It's not there, nice. All right, we'll put that in there, but I want to try it without it first. Let's get our hooks right. Yep, just one. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Let's try four O's. See if this all works the same, but we're going to, I'm going to start out with the diddly doodler first here. Oh, yeah. Well, I heard that you don't even need a snow now. Time of day we're at. I have a sneaking suspicion this works because normally if you have bottom rods out there, snow in the snow in the lake, or you have snow on your ground feeder. What are you working on, Rex? Oh, fixing do some of them uh, gobies and stuff. Finish them up. Oh, that's right. You didn't do them all last year, did you? Mm -mm. You can obliterate them at Texas or anywhere, really, but... Yeah. I got three uh, big ollies with me. I'm going to do it with three. But don't get too too much out of hand. Everglades work best for you. Yeah, they're pretty quick everywhere, yeah. I did them at Everglades. I did them at Texas. I think for me, it was Texas was the cheapest, so I just did there. I did them at a bunch of places last year, but they all work pretty good. I think Florida was actually one of the best places I had luck with. Uh, I don't think this works unless you have snow in the thing, because 
believe that's probably what's going on here. All right, we're just, I know it sounds crazy, guys, but I'm testing something somebody posted on the channel, and I want to make sure I give it a good fair go. Now, I got a feeling once I put the, once I put the snow in, they'll come a lot quicker. That's just a normal burbot. That's a good sign, though, but i got a feeling the crystals aren't going to come out without. Yeah, I think you only need the snow just on, just on one pole, pole, right? Yeah. Got my goby at Texas, but crappie and it came at faster Florida. All got you. That's the one thing I'll give fish and plan. That fish are normally either really quick in a lot of places or they're really slow in a lot of places. Like the northern pike, there wasn't really a best spot for them. Like the ghost pike. I think Michigan was slightly best, but they were all pretty close once they did a little bit more. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and put some snow in. And I bet, yeah, we're going to see a lot of a difference here. All right, let's put snow in right here. Also, I'm going to play with the new alarm system. PS5. Uh, oh. Now, I believe once the snow ends on one, we'll start catching them a little bit. <coughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Let's cast this one out and grab it. This feels more like a crystal burbot. Yep. As soon as I put snow in the water. Alright, so that means the other forms are going to probably work pretty well here. This feels kind of like a normal one, but I could be wrong. So how many you got to go? How many you got to get? I don't remember offhand. I know it's quite a bit because it was Pal yeah, that really good. helped me with the thing last year. I went and watched the video again, and Pal is the one that really helped me. And once what he told me worked really well. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I think the awesome. crystal are 100, 150, but how many you got? How many do you have left? Oh, I have probably a hundred. This is probably the only time I ever did a video on this one a little early. And it's only because Pala, oh. you know, Pala always gives good information, so. Yeah. So you definitely don't need it on your pole. You just need it on one pole. And like last year, not everyone is going to be on it. All right, let's take a game to here. Let's try this fire series. Oh, 
Let's see if we get one on the grub. And I'm feeling like we'll probably get one now. Oh, there's a hit at least. Again. Huh. Oh, I'm trying to figure out where to get the decoration stuff. Yeah, you gotta complete all the missions, like Tess said. Yeah, I think Michigan was a little bit better. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Sometimes when I'm, like, focused on this, I'm trying to see if I need to make another Crystal Burbot video in... So I figured I'd bring you guys with on how I test out the stuff from last year. So far it actually seems exactly like last year where you just have to have one pole in the water with snow. I'm really curious to see if that float catches anything. He's killing it with Christopher Bots right now. Now I got a feeling this might be it. Yep, so it's because of the snow in the water. Alright, we're gonna save that. This is a little burbot. So I think if you have snow on every one, it gets a little better, but... Alright, moment of truth. This is the float pole. <laughs> this might be it, actually. No, this is just a good one, it looks like. Do you have all your challenges done from last year? I just have the Burbot one. Rex. <clears throat> I don't. I get I still got to catch all the Dutch crappies. I get very few crystals and the regular ones are biting, barely biting either. Jim, I have, when you were doing it, were you in a room with fireworks? Because the fireworks will mess up these things quite a bit. I noticed last year when I made that video, I was in a room with fireworks at the beginning, and I thought I was doing something wrong because I kept getting antlered salmon on no matter what I put into the water. And it definitely, looking back now, was right after I made that video, it was definitely the fireworks messing it up. And that's part of the reason I switched to cup bait instead of uh, minnows, is it helped some. Lucky in here we don't have nobody shooting off fireworks, so. Ah, uh -huh, that's interesting. Four oh medium cup eight, huh? That's crazy.
Come on. That one, I think, is probably a crystal here. Yeah, that's a crystal. Let's try that back mark over there and see if they come out a little bit quicker. <coughs> yeah, I had a really good run where I caught a good 30 crystals and nothing sense. Huh. Yeah, I'm at the middle of the one up there. I'm at, uh, I think, 10 or 11. Yeah. This isn't too bad. We'll definitely, because we'll be here a little bit testing these out. We're going to see if they're better in certain things. Hey, Pala. What's going, guys? All right. All right. Not bad. So I went and rewatched a Crystal Burbot video because the guy gave me a good tip about grubs working, too. Um, and I realized you basically were the one that helped me out with Crystal Burbots last year, Pella. Yeah. Did you not conf Did you not finish it off then? No, last no, year. I never got the time last year. No, I got. Oh. That was the only thing I didn't do last year because I got, I got that good. Inf I got good information from you, and then as soon as I put in for there, I had really good luck. So I'm like, I better make a video on this, and then I never got back to finishing them. It's the only thing I have left to do on any event besides I have to finish up the Rowdy Bass on the. Uh, St. Patrick's. I have all the missions done, just the challenge I need to finish up. Mm. Yeah, I've still got to do it on Fisherman. Get all of that shit done, man. No league then, Dave, tonight. No, I hit. I thought I had set it up on Monday with you guys, but I didn't. So then when I went and set it up yesterday, apparently there was too many because I came online this morning and it was so declined because there was too many sponsored events today. Or it was already full. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen there was been quite a few today. Yeah, to be honest, though, it's not the end of the world. Like, kids are all no, homesick just, again. Just... and. Oh, are they? Oh, man. Yeah, they were. I did that. So tomorrow's farming simulator video and, um, let's see, in Thursdays, you're probably going to hear my kids coughing in the background. There's nothing I can do. Oh. It's not like I can't not record with them here, and I can't tell them not to cough. <laughs> you know, <Nah. laughs> that's right. It's just delayed a week, isn't it? It's just got to put it forward a week. Oh, oh, got you, got you, got you. I'm, oh yeah, you're talking about the big hump team. My bad, Jim. The league, there yeah, for the league. I'm on about. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm. We'll get. We'll get back going to it. Yeah, I'm just trying to do that fucking nightly hunt flat spoon fucking challenge mission. Oh, man. I've been hearing from comments. That's one of the toughest ones to do. Fucking, yeah. Just, they just don't bite as well on that flat spoon as they do on that shad. That's for sure. The Nile perch, anyway. Goliath and African tiger fish. I've got a couple of spots. I've not really sort of gone for them. The thing is, you fill up your bag so quick here. That you don't, like you don't want to waste the XP or the, the money. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of the next videos I do is actually that one. I had somebody actually ask me about um, uh, best lures in the game and how to get them. And I thought, wow, that's actually a really good video idea. You know, because yeah. like... I don't think people realize how good, like, the Liberty Spoon is, or, you know. The Walker, yeah, well, and all of them, apart from, obviously, the X-Series stuff, which, a lot of it, you can get through, uh, uh completing, uh, missions and what have you, innit? 30 days, and 
apart from the odd one you can only get within winning competitions. Yeah. Like the grub, the shad, and the lava. Honestly, I have a, oh, we might have another one on though, finally. Um, I haven't had much luck with the gr um, grub as much as I thought I was gonna. How big is the X series shad lengthwise? Four it? inches. Oh, it's four inches. Mm hmm. Well, I think they added a bigger one now, but. Hmm. But this ribbed shad is fucking killing it here, man, I tell you. You know what's funny is when you go to use that at Alaska, where your shads do pretty well, it doesn't yeah. catch anything in Alaska. I tried it in Alaska the other day, and it was... So there's actually a difference between ribbed and the regular ones, then. I just gotta take this call, guys. Be back in a second. Mm -hmm. This seems to be about the same as last year, too. You catch a bunch, and then they slow down. Try going up a little bit here. So how many gobies? You gotta catch all your gobies, Rex. Yeah, I gotta my my crappies first, the Dutch crappies. Oh, okay. When you do your crappies, there I have a um, the video on what's it called three. Um, where you catch them all in a row and get your one ounce. Bass yeah. Pig. I, I forget what one it's called. But. but anyway, that's where I did them, and they were really quick. I'm pretty sure that was Florida on the crappies. I can't remember exactly. Yeah, I think it was. It was. I can't remember what that challenge is. How down Crampton's tarpon? No, um, Angling Machine 3. That's the video. Oh, Angling Machine 3. Okay. Because you can easily get your angling machine video or on red worms too. Oh, nice. How's it going, fur? Caught almost everything on red worms. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what I used anymore. I might go back and try a couple go. I'm sure as soon as I advance time, these things are going to go very quick again. It's almost like they have a trophy respawn deal. All right, let's pull it out. Let's back up and get back on the dock. All right. I never said I was an expert boat driver. I'll just... All right, let's put the rod holder out. Let's try advancing time. And then see if they come fast again. Alright. If I were to guess in full, they're probably going to come out quick again for a little bit. Wait, do I not have my snow in there? Oh, 
Why did my snow on equip? Oh, it expired. I'm an idiot. All right. Shoot. And I think that was all of it. Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right. I'm gonna go grab some from home storage. <coughs> All right, let's go back. Grab some more freaking snow. You know, one Christmas we have been starting to use more is that Jolly Walker, and that's actually not been too bad. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, on the lake, you should be using a closed. I'm just using an open feeder right now because that's what I had on or what I had available. I didn't want to redo my bag. All right, where's the snow stuff? All right, we can put all this in there. And. Let's go back. Damn it, music's about to get out of my last nerve. <laughs> Tess. Honestly, the there's like one of the Christmas songs that I really liked. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but... <coughs> <coughs> the uh, other ones were quite funny. Actually, what we need to do, too, is this first peak and then try night again. What do you get catching for these coins or cash? You get you get 12 bait coins for the first one, and I don't remember what it is after that. I think it's like a hat or something. We can look here after I catch some more. Yeah, the crystal bomber hat with the light. Oh, it's like that. It's the one that's got the ears that hang down on it like a Russian hat kind of thing. Oh, got yeah. Oh, are we in with only one person? Oh, okay. Let's try to go into a random lobby again. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but I've always done random lobbies. You get a lot of good information from random lobbies. Actually, I think Skywalker is Skywalker. Is that you? Is that Dave the Maze? Is that your name? I know Sky. I know I should know the name Skywalker. It's one of the people that comment on the videos all the time, and I forget. All right, let's mix up our stuff here quick. Um, redo this. Yeah, I probably should just went down, huh? Hmm. We gotta remember try not to waste this, but work on levels for Congo at Mariner they nerf the sharks. Yeah, they kinda whenever a new lake comes out, they do this update where it kind of backs up. It's happened they don't always say that's exactly what they're doing, and you guys know that I am a firm believer of no bro science, but definitely I think last time they announced they were slowing down Marin River and you had a tougher time catching them at night. And It's okay, though, because, I mean, honestly, if you got something to work for in the game, it's not that bad. Like, as soon as you get... I know I buy the DLCs, guys, and I'm not opposed to buying them, but I buy them because I can get to the lake and give you guys information right away on helping out. Um, otherwise, if I was doing it on my own, I would buy the DLCs after I locked the lake. Great, and that one's stuck in the water right off the bat. Let me know if I need to turn that volume down. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can barely hear it. I think that's the song I like, actually, Rex. Oh, no, no. Put the fireworks away. Actually, we might go after some antlered salmon and stuff here, too. 
Oh, I'm back, guys. <clears throat> Go on, pal. All right, man. Oh. Sorry, you were saying, Dave, about lures. Was it or something? You got to do a video? Yeah, because there's a somebody. One or two people now have asked about what are my favorite lures, and mm. one of them was this week, and he wanted to know what are the best ones that I like and where you get them. Yeah. And that's actually really interesting, because I think there's a lot of lures out there people kind of overlook. Yeah. I or mean, the, you could... Uh, what's it the, called? The Eagle Give Spoon, it, yeah. you could basically take to any lake and catch something with it. It might not get you the best stuff, but you can catch something with it a lot of times. Mm-hmm, yeah. Or, or the Patriot Walker, or the... Basically everything from the 4th of July of that. I think that's going to come in handy again at uh, the Pike Tournament. Mudwater, you remember? Yeah, yep, yep. That'll be a lot of fun. That's the next tournament, too, so it'll be fun to get mm -hmm. to. I guess the music was okay, and then it got old. Yeah, my guess would be the Buzzbait and Nymph. Yeah, that's one of the best ones. You can go to a lot of the new lakes with the Buzzbait and Nymph and just destroy everything. Here, the, the buzz bait and that new grub works quite well. Oh, really? The pike, you know, the African pike, and... What else did I catch? Yeah. Uh, one of those... Is it yellowtail? What's it fucking called? Definitely the pike, anyway. And I think even the Cornish... Is it Cornish Jack? That oh, that thing is, that. yeah, that Cornish Jack, if you go off the dock, I'm going to make a video about that thing right now. Um, yeah, cause what, if the you dock go, right at the end? Yeah, if you go to the right dock the and just that. turn right, and it kept, hits right in front of you right before the dock at like 30 feet almost every time. Mm. Mm -hmm. I did send you a mark for the unique purple Labaro. Oh, yeah, I saw that yesterday. Tip for if somebody goes to Marin River, use 10 hooks. They work great for bigger XP. Oh, 10 -0 hooks. Yeah, you can. I always use sixes just so I can catch them really quick, though. But eights. yeah, tens will help focus, get big ones, yeah. I use eights. Even on the um, the freeway. The freeway rigs works pretty well, actually, with the, the eight, um, the eight O and the rib shad. Oh, he's talking about Marin River. Oh, Marin. Right. Yeah, Marin River, you want to use the spod reel. <laughs> with uh, the. Uh, what were they called? Those float rods. Bellcaster. Majesty, that's it. God. Oh, this might be a crystal here. Oh, maybe not. Jeepers, send me trophy burbot so I can get out of this place. Hmm. They definitely do seem to have slowed down a little bit from this year to last, though. How's it going, Karina? Oh, I got your message this morning, by the way. I'm going to probably do a live stream over on Minecraft, and we can do it then. Yeah, this is one at least. You can't catch them on float. That's interesting. I say good day. Too little. This is a little burbot. 
<clears throat> we fishing uh, to the left or towards the? I'm fishing to the left right now. I'm gonna try probably out to the right, but. It's kind of like a, any year. These are kind of suiting, you know, any event fish. Some are really quick and some are really slow. Yeah, I fucking had a nightmare with those antler salmon on Fishing Planet last year. Yeah, oh, I see. I love them. them. I love them. I, I, do, I, I do love them, but fucking they took ages, man. You had to come with me a couple of days because I run out of fucking fireworks. <clears throat> yeah, that's my favorite. I really like the vampire gars and the the, the Franken fish. Out, <coughs> outside of the Franken fish, my favorite fish is probably the furry trout and antlered salmon up here. Mm. On Fishing Planet, um, fishermen they give you uh, like unique ones. They give you bait coins for, which is good because then you can just keep buying fireworks with the bait coins. Oh, got okay, yeah. How's it going, Cryptics? You got a break? Oh, yeah, we're just trying out and make sure the stuff from the Crystal Burbot video last year works. I know it sounds dumb, but when events come out, I like to go back and check over everything again. Oh no, we were talking about cryptics, the my favorite fish probably to catch in the game. It's the Franken fish and probably that black vampire gar along with these antlered salmon up here and right now we're going after Crystal Burbot, but the I'm a big I'm a big, big fan of the antlered salmon and furry trout up here. Oh my gosh, what is it doing to you, Cryptics? Give me a second. I'll uh, fix that. Trophy yellow perch. The butthead of White Moose Lake. Everybody gets annoyed with Burr, but I don't mind them because they're worth more than pretty much everything in the lake per pound. Yeah. Don't worry about Skynet or Nightbot. We call cryptics speeding apart. All right, have a good one, cryptics. Thanks for stopping in. I think I may actually throw on the bullet spinner and have some fun while we're doing these. We caught a couple on the grub, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be really any different than what the bottom rods are doing. Oh. You try the X series single spoon. That always seems to get them when you don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're going for lake trout, always, especially near as you come nearer in, they tend to bite quite near in, don't they? Yeah, believe it or not, I don't have too much of an issue with that on the single or the bullet spinner. Let's see. Oh, did I go buy it? Oh my god. Does anybody want three kids? They're great, but they get you sick all the time. I already start. I'm going mentally dumb here. Where are you at, Rex? You at White Moose as well? Long star. 
Oh no. <laughs> oh, what are you after? You do. Oh, the crappies. He's broke yeah. again. <laughs> Serious, man. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I think you're sitting good for money right now, right, Rex? Yeah. It's like the first time ever in Fishing Planet. Well, yeah, he must have made a few uh, few dollars at uh, Congo, innit? Although you weren't here very long, but... Yeah. I'm just kissing these hidden diggers. We do, like, Christmas mission or something. Mm -hmm. those... Yeah, I never finished them last year. Dang, it de definitely slowed down again on me here. It's like you catch a few fast, and then after that, it's. Come on, hit the dang thing. Oh, it's way too far to the left. No wonder I'm not getting anything. Alright, this is a little burbot. This one's probably a crystal burbot here. If I was a guessing fool. And I, I'm a guessing fool, I'm totally wrong. That is not a crystal burbot. Alright. Let's get my boat and move them over to the corner. Actually, I think we're going to do some... I'm going to try these. Did you ever try the Burbots at night last year, Pella? Mm, no. Not I might really. give that a whirl. I do my settings, too. I forgot to do the bite alarms thing. All right, so we're going to do... Over in settings... forget they have a setup like this. All right. Let's take it down to 50%. That way it ain't so obnoxious. Yeah, I think 50 is still quite loud. <laughs> For me, it is anyway. Oh, I've got to turn them down even more. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll have to try that out. See, I haven't paid attention. That's the first time I've even been in that menu since they added it on update 4.0. Hmm. Oh, okay, let me see. It seems like Cookie Ground Bait also works for White Moose Event Fish. Oh, interesting. We might actually grab some of that next time we leave them to Tillage. I come in. Dark B from PS4. Oh, nice. Thanks, Dark. Got a few, but testing. Okay, it's a lot slower than fireworks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, honestly, once you get in a room with a bunch of people doing fireworks, the antler and furry come quick. Like, super quick. I oh, so you was using number six hooking leeches at Florida. Was that for the... Christmas fish. Yeah, yeah but was that for the yeah, angler? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I uh uh yeah, that's what I was just testing. We got we got two, but it wasn't super quick. Yeah, I was, uh, that's uh, like the first thing I did when I got here. And it seems like you need to have the snow on a bottom rod in the water, Tillman, just to get it active. And then it was catching a, one or two, but it wasn't, before I put the snow in, it definitely was not working for me. Let's 
see if we can't hit up a couple lake trouts while we're here in Spikes. Yeah, White Moose is definitely climbing my list of my favorite places to go. It's fun. Pilot, is that New Congo River your favorite place now? Oh, I don't know about favorite. At the moment it is because I'm just trying to discover it, you know, and making yeah. good money. Good money and quick XP as well. I'm I'm halfway through level seventy two. I've only been here well yesterday and today. A few hours real time. <clears throat> it does go quick, I must admit. But yeah, I've got all I've caught all the cats, I've done that mission and all the small stuff. Crap, we're gonna lose this guy probably, but I wanna make sure. Oh, that's not a crystal burn, but he can hang out there. Thank you. I'm also trying the horn salmon. Oh, the antler salmon <coughs> troll challenge, but there's always a lack of fireworks. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, actually, if you pay attention to the channel, I'll definitely do be doing a live stream where I shoot off a bunch of fireworks and go after them. They're so much fun, yeah. Probably the next time you see me and say Christmas live stream, that'll be the one, uh, I would assume. Oh, we got the uni on now. Um, I will definitely be doing the antlered salmon and all that. It doesn't look to be like the biggest uni of all time, but it is a unique. That fish did not get off that whole time. That's crazy. It's always like the little ones never leave. Are you on PS4, Dark? Oh, that's right. You are on PS4, yeah. Uh, let's see if we get a uni spike now. Dave, did you remember to use a snow owl to catch a crystal burr bot? Yeah, it's on one of the poles. You only need it on one of them. I have it on there. They were I was catching them pretty good for a while. Now they've slowed down. The white pole right there has snow on it, Gina. I have some left, but I only use them in a group to other launch them to you. Oh, got you. Yeah. Probably a good way of going about doing that, Tillman. Prolong them even more. In last year, I, I don't, I haven't done them yet this year, but it seems like last year, um, it seemed like whoever shot the fireworks off didn't get as many as the other people. It seems like if you're the other person, in a room where somebody else is shooting them off, it seemed like it was going quicker than if you were the person shooting it off. All right, this Blake is gonna hit really soon and quit being dumb. Come on, Blake. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go a little farther, I think. Pella, where are you at right now? Congo. Oh, probably making it murder and the money at Congo. Huh? 
I'm just trying to get this mission done for the f flat spoon. It's proving to be. I mean, I'm catching them, but I just can't catch one. You know, it needs to be a, a unique, basically. I haven't hit somebody. It yet. Somebody uh, posted in one of the comments about it that they literally caught one one pound off of under what it needed to be or something. Oh, damn. <coughs> After like four hours, I, yeah, I guess that's everybody's having an issue with that one, which is odd. Uh, uh, somebody sent me, I think it was, oh, Q1 sent me a bunch of marks, so I want to go down and try the marks out. If I remember right, that's at night too, right? Go be at night, yeah. It makes it a little harder on that flat spoon. <clears throat> seems like the twitching towards the bottom seems to work a little bit better than just stop and go. Yeah, see, Which... you have a little bit more luck with twitching than I do, Pella. I, I have to practice it a little bit more. I don't have nearly just, as much luck with it. Just sky twitch, you know. Hold on to L2. Just, yeah. You know. Which is weird, because back in the day, that's all it used to use was lift and drop and twitching. I never did stop and go. Now, the last two years, it seems like I've switched to stop and go. Wow, my poles could not catch AIDS right now. advance and see if I can catch them at night at all. Burma, Burbot probably bite pretty good at night. I don't remember because it's been a while since I went after Burbot. How many do you need to complete? Oh, I think quite a bit actually. I can look here in a second. but Was it 300 was it? 150 I think. 150. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah, Karina, if, are you going to be online today or no? All right, let's do it like this. And then. All right. Um. Let's try these out at night. We haven't tried them out at night. All right, let's go ahead and throw some more in. Just realized what that sound is. <clears throat> it's that fucking jukebox, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. That brings back memories. Jesus. Yeah, they do bite quicker at them in Florida. That is for sure, Dave. Is that crappies? Yeah, the same. I'm catching in the same yeah. spot you was catching in your video. Oh, just to the left of the dock. Right near mm -hmm. the machine. Yeah. Well, this is a good sign. This one's little, though. I have no clue why people are obsessed with changing their names on Fishing Planet. It's the only game I've seen them where they change names, like, on a weekly basis. <laughs> Well, this is a little bit promising right now.
Uh, maybe a crystal. Nope. Trophy. So you definitely catch them at night. Uh, let's try to see if we can get another big lake trout here. That one looks to be a good one. Oh, this might be a unique bird bot. Or a big crystal. Or a trophy. Yeah. I think I might turn them down even more. That's not one. Honestly, you still catch good weed up here, no matter what you're going for. Chase, you might be able to get your Angling Machine 3 off of it, Probots at night. Holy crap. That's the song, Rex, right there. The one I like. That one? Yeah. It's the same song that I play when I make love to your sweet mother. Oh, okay. I was wondering why I kept hearing that at night. <laughs> oh, gosh. Were you fishing for it? We are doing a little bit of Crystal Burbot and just other stuff while we're up here. Um, and also, we're doing uh, some lake trout. Although the burbots are biting really good here tonight. How's it going, Riot? You lurker. And then I just say it's biting quick and it goes dead and silent. Oh, thanks, Brandon. All right, what are you? Splake? Yeah. This guy next to me is catching, it seems like, everything as me at the same time as me. He's kind of Splake, too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Have you tried the um, Jolly Binner and the, the Jolly Spoon Christmas? Uh, oh, I end. might have to try them out. Yeah, I might try them out. I think uh, on Fisherman I was using them. Bullet Spinner one. That was working quite well. Well, I was after Ant and Salmon, but I kept on catching Burbot, so might well catch. Worth a go. Oh, you got something decent on over there. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> he just starts flinging across the water. Bird brook trout. At first, it looked like his pole was sinking quite a bit. So I think what we're going to do You got a lot of value from her. Thanks, right? That has got to be a crystal. Don't be a pain in the ass. Be a crystal. 
you're not a crystal. You fail at life, Burbot. Chalk this up to bad life choices. Um, let's get in our boat and try this side. So we're going to go ahead. Actually, I think I'm going to put two on large. <sighs> Minnows in launch on rockets of justice. Did I go buy them? No, I didn't. Oh, I'm brain dead today, I swear. All right, let's go ahead. <coughs> let's go ahead and put this right here. Now, because if I remember right, Pala, we caught a lot over here, too, where I'm fishing at now. Off the dock, like straight out, middle of the dock, sort of thing. Yeah, not how's it going, not Trick? Too far out. How's it going, Brian? Hello, <laughs> Brian. Oh, Brian. I don't think it wakes up, Brian. That's an that word. No, it's not. It's a big furry. Ah, oh. right off the bat. This is a trophy. <laughs> I'm up. We're all at different places. I'm at White Moose doing event fish. Congo. Everybody. <laughs> Sadly, help us, they didn't put the decorated fish here, and I was really hoping for it. Another unique furry. There's no mission for the furry. Oh, there's a challenge though for it, help us. I have mine done, but you have to, if you catch 150 of them, you get something from it. I can't remember now, but. The jacket or the hat, I think it is. Yep. No man hat, maybe. A day with Rex's mother. <laughs> And depending on how much she likes you, possibly at night. <laughs> Why do you think I'm up here fishing away? <clears throat> yeah, you have to catch one, help us to find that out. Yeah, to get the challenge to pop up, yep. Oh, that was a good little hit. Man, these crystal burbot are being pain in the ass. Oh, uh, probably quite a bit. 
I have a screenshot from last year where I made... I can't remember exactly, but it was something crazy. I caught 600 and some fish on the event, and every time I opened my bag, my game would try to crash on me. It was, uh... I think it was the Gobies on Christmas, actually. I could be wrong, but I think that might have been it. That's a good little one. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you can never get monster fish or event fish in tournaments. Or cops either. <laughs> no, they they got that under control. I didn't realize how much a full pole moves over here at White Moose. Yeah, they, they float around. That's it, I forgot you're still going in the 50s right now. Yeah, I think I did mine with uh, Big Ali's. Um, Big Ali's in the, in the river, or the Big River 6500s. It's like a real and fast. Oh, and I forgot to turn it. Well, let's go. I'm gonna run that on the bottom. And... <laughs> Apparently, Fire Dragon is trying to check out what's going on over here. I literally just stand behind them and whack them. <laughs> Rex is the one that showed me how to do that. <laughs> In his adventures. <coughs> oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, I didn't realize what I said until I said it, so there was nothing I could do about that. Yeah, you normally get where basically you're right right on top of them and you just do it. I'm in your lobby is Dude Fire Dragon. Oh, okay, I got ya. Nice, Booyah. Or Booyah, man. Oh, that's something not terrible. If 
Fire Dragon, you have a twin, by the way. You and the other guy look exactly like. <laughs> I feel like this is some sort of Matrix type of crap. <laughs> Oh yeah, tokens are where it's at, for sure. In fact, I think part of the way I actually unequipped the ground bait so that it was actually quicker. Because you can do three rods without ground bait as long as you're doing tokens and it keeps you busy. That's how I got my angling machine three. Back to zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if you do crappies at Florida, like the video that I put out where Rex is doing them right now, you. Oh, I got my angling machine in like a half hour, yeah. You see, I think it's like a six-out hook, or a six hook, and what was it, Rex? A regular six Link, and... Le yeah, leeches. regular six and leeches, yeah. And then just keep firing tokens away. Yeah, number six. One of the small ones. Oh, help us. You don't know. You can do it any time of the day. My bad. I didn't see that. Fairy King, yeah, thanks. I'm doing. Like I said, I always like them, but oh, we got, might have a uni on now. Oh, it's Antlered Salmon. Here we go. Late to the show, Antlered Salmon. The reason I bring that up too, Brian, is that bass jig is arguably the best one of the X Series ones to have. It's the one I use most. We got a heavy chaser getting really bent over there. Grab it, Creaky. I want to see what that is. Grab it. Grab it. You're letting it go, buddy. Oh, man. Are heavy chasers... Not, I thought they were like 40-pound poles. That thing got bent over by a two-pound furry trout. <laughs> I mean, it got bent over by a furry trout. <clears throat> I love the, the I love these fish up here. They're so much fun. I have two cup baits in, and they aren't catching. I haven't caught a crystal bar burbot now in a while. We well, you just use normal large cut bait. Uh, medium is what small. I'm using right now. I think the small was doing quite well. I was doing it. Yeah, I might have to put that on. They're super streaky. Oh, somebody's got an antler on it, it looks like. the medium basically cut bait because it kind of focuses out the i mean you can use minnows but you can get a lot of trout on them oh fire dragon's got something that looks like not too bad on no pressure, Fire Dragon. Nobody's watching you. Oh, not bad. Mm. 
Nice. Yeah, 21. Yeah, I mean, that lake trout, I mean, especially at, at your level, is good money. And that's no joke. I mean, white moose is really effective lake early on. I think it's super underrated. I mean, I come here and I still make a lot of money normally. What in the world are you catching way over there? I'm really curious to see what this is. It's got to be a burbot, but... Way over there, that's interesting. All right, we're throwing over here this time. He's like, this guy's making fun of me. I'm gone. Pella, what's your biggest Nile so far? Oh, fuck. That's right. Your metric. Uh, 187 kilos. All right. I have to go look. I'll do it, mate. Um... Kilos, pounds. Uh, four four twelve, just over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in yeah, the that's a good there. one. Yeah, that's a good one though. Not bad. <clears throat> oh, you're using a Tropicana. Uh, the uh, that new pole is really badass, pal. By the way, when you do get a chance to get it. Yeah, I won't be getting it because I ain't got enough bait coins. <clears throat> so I'll wait till it opens up on level. I think it's 73 it opens up or 75. Yeah, it's not something terrible. The reason I got the sport version is so that I could test it out, but also because I wanted the extra durability. Yeah. Fuck me, you need it with these fish. Yeah, no kidding. Saying that, I mean... My pole is worn down, what, up to 70%? And that's like after three, four, four, four days. Huh. But that's all I've been using is the, the Tropicana. My pole that wears down like that with Rex's mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's the longer pole as well, it's the... the uh, it's like slightly less power but I find it weird that on the now chasers the longer ones are, are the more powerful ones yeah it's kind of backwards from everything else they've ever done yeah Rex got the song again <laughs> Oh, yeah, 40 pound lake trout, yeah. <sighs> I caught a couple earlier, but I think I caught my uni right now already, so I don't think I can catch another one for a little bit. Oh, NASCAR broke the reel. Ouch. Yeah, I'm coming. Settle down, pole. Oh, whatever that is, looks decent. That looks like an or salmon if I've ever seen one. Alright, let's grab it and see. Think it's yanking like black cords of our own. No, it's not. What is it, a brook? Oh, it's a salmon, I bet. Yeah. Damn. Are you getting close? Uh, <clears throat> you know when the fish hits it, it goes right up into the red. Yeah, that's a uni in, for sure. Yeah, you strike into it and it comes off. You know what I mean? That's fucking pisses me off, that does. <laughs> to the point where it actually moves your boat. <laughs> I mean, the strike. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. When you start it bobbing like in the water and it pulls you a little bit, you know that yeah. was a good one. Yeah. 
And it's weird. That isn't based off of size, it doesn't feel like. it based off of type. So it seems like you need to do it, and then some trophies can do it, too. But it doesn't matter. Like, it seems like a trophy or a uni catfish can do it, too. It doesn't have to be... Oh, let me put this on. I'm going to lose that one, but I don't care. I mean, big, put it that way, is what does it. Dang it. I lost it. Oh, well. I got an antlered salmon, though. I will take that trade every day of the week. Um, when you get the missions, I'll check, but I think you get a day pass. Yeah, you get a day pass, yeah. So when you do a mission, make sure you're finishing... Let me see. I'm going to look right now. I'll check for you. Is it a day yeah. pass or is it open for the event? Yeah, that's actually a really good question. Yeah, you get a one you get one day passes for everything. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, but I, when you get down to like the Krampus Pyara, that one is super easy. And just like I said, make sure that you keep it under a thirty three pound setup. So honestly the the little the smaller Brutus is like really good. Everything has to be under thirty three pounds, but you make some really good money. And you only need that on one pole. The other poles can actually be um bigger if you're gonna farm them later from the DLC. I don't know. Do you just have the are you you didn't buy the Christmas DLC, right? Okay, yeah. Sure, when you do the Krampus Pyara. I don't know what you're working on right now. What mission are you working on? You can do it, and I think you can do it on the boat, too. I like how Rex takes it on the chin. No comeback from it at all. No, normally Rex is the better one at the mama jokes than me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, my mama's mad at you anyways. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't tell her happy birthday. <coughs> oh, was it today? It was yesterday. Oh, shit. I really fucked that <laughs> one up, didn't I? <laughs> I feel like if I say it now, it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> She might be getting old enough where I could have said, hey, how would you like the present I sent you yesterday? She might go along with that. <laughs> I'm such a dickhead. <clears throat> Ouch. Oh, wow. I did, uh, 
I have good luck with mine. Rex, you have pretty good internet speed most of the time, unless your Wi-Fi is acting up on you. But yeah, it's good now since I got that got that new router. Yeah, and honestly, if you want, you're only, you're always gonna be limited when you're on the Wi-Fi. You're only gonna get fifty, generally fifty megs. But even no matter how good your internet is, unless you got a really good router, but. Oh, he, he's not as rough. Yeah. The he, he's bad as, they've, they're, uh, they're rough. And that's who I'll one of my friends used to have, and he used to, he used to have so much problems. All right, pal. Actually, I think I have a picture of, I'm lucky I got Charter Spectrum, and that, that crap is quick. Yeah, like I just I just sent that picture. Yeah, it takes me like ten fifth ten minutes to Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I have a half a gig internet is what it's called through Spectrum. So like five hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. I don't have it for that. I have it for the upload speed. If I if you have the if you have bad upload, it takes a long time to get a video on. Jeez, yeah, you've been fighting that thing forever. Josh, I'm fishing for Crystal Burbots, the Vent Fish, and, and Lake Trout. It's kind of just doing everything. What was that, Brian? Options on, uh, I believe it's in the options menu. I can look in a second. Twenty-five pound line. Oh, that's why it's fighting so hard. Forty-four. That's not bad. Wait, is that a Zeus dragon? What do you got? Twenty-five pound on a Zeus. That might not be a Zeus. Actually, that might be a. What what type of pole are you using right now, Dragon? Oh, oh it's a Loki. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. That's why it fight, fought you a little bit there. See, when I get one on a Zeus, you'll see it won't fight as much. All right, so we're, we're going to go today here. Put down the rods. All right, and... Wait, is that snow still good? I gotta move that over. I didn't see that you were there. Alright, and then.
cut almost everything in the way. Can't catch a uni spike. Oh, if you watch here in a minute, Marcus, I'll catch a uni spike. It's one of the first fish, fish I catch right here. We'll put this on and we'll put the medium in the water, but we'll go catch that uni spike for you. Do you have a bullet spinner of any type? Oop, I don't want that on. I want. You should do do the music one. I think there's a music one. I'll have to look here in a second. I forgot to look while I was there. Yeah, music and environment, you could turn down both. I can't remember if it's in music or environment. It's in one of them, though. Now, I went before peak a little bit, but you can, you'll still catch it. Unis pretty quick over here. Oh, I went a little to the right. Unique Arowana Vibe video at Amazon Maze that helped me do the trial. Oh, nice. How's it going? Oh, dang, I just missed it being an idiot. How's it going, face? There's a trophy. We'll get the uni here in a second. Sticking little robots. Not too bad just fishing some f event fish here on Fishing Planet. I'll pull out the fireworks again to you in a second here, Dragon. I just gotta. Recast out here. These little burbots are annoying. How fun is Congo getting close to level 75? Congo is a friggin' blast, Marcus. It, it's a lot of fun. Then, you kind of just get yanked around your boat all over, but it's a lot of fun still. Get this little guy out. Oh, crap. My mix went bad again. That's all right, we'll leave that for a second. <clears throat> Sometimes you can get a uni brook trout right close to the dock or way far out.
Oh. No, I'm not in a competition. No, no, please. All right, no. Actually, I haven't done much for comps because I wanted to get back to more guides than doing comps. I was doing pretty hard into the comps there, obviously, for a while, so. This might be Uni Splake. Or it's a lake trout? I can't. Give me a second. I'll be able to tell here. There he is. That's a good, that's a really good one as well. We're going to mark that one. So there you go, Marcus, if you, uh... Oh, right now I'm, uh, I'm doing, a. I'm making sure all the guides from last year are still good this year. So, like here in a second, you're going to see me mix snow balls and do some more crystal burbot. You can see this went old. Let's get rid of that. And then we're also going to shoot off some more fireworks as well. Let's unequip that. Mix it. Looks always so easy in the videos. Well, to be fair, I just showed you catching the unique plate pretty quick. You just, I know it sounds dumb, Marcus, but sometimes once you get a feel for one fish, it helps you get in a feel for other fish. That sounds really stupid. But I can tell you what, it took me a long time to figure the splake out. And when I figure out the splake, I could do uni lakes really quick. So, like, I can go back over there now. And you'll see probably within a few casts, I'll catch a uni lake over there, depending on how fast these rods go off. And it'll help you. Then the, these ones helped me in Alaska on the salmon and trout up in Alaska. And it kind of just snowballs. Once you start to figure one out, you start to find some patterns between fish. Like, you can take what you learn from here and take it and use it in other places. Like, this is actually the place that I learned about the zones. So that there's you can only catch a unique in a certain amount of time, real time, before you can catch another one. Or you have to be far enough away from the spot that you caught it, and it depends on the fish type in the lake. So, for example, when I catch a lake trout over here or the splake, I'm not going to catch another uni splake for another hour. Uh, real time. So it'd be two hour, or four hours in game time. Yeah. Oh, I thought I forgot to throw the fight work. These poles are going to make my life a pain in the butt, but that's okay. I don't feel like you are a burbot. I mean, a crystal one. There's a crystal. <coughs> well, skip the uni cooldown. Yep. Yep. So, like, you just caught yours. So, if you skip four hours ahead. You won't be in peak, and it'll take a little bit because your bite rate's slower, not in peak, but you can actually catch another unique one. So if you look here, Fire Dragon, you can catch a unique way down here at 7 p.m. 
on these little periods, you can still catch uniques. The, just the bite rate is so slow. And, and a lot of times, the chart means bite rate, not when you're going to catch uniques. Like, you can catch uniques all day. For example, there's a day that's really bad in Alaska. The chart shows it, but it's actually one of the best days to get dollies and bull trouts. Even though it says... Um, the one that I made the finals on on Char Chargers was that. It was like it's supposed to be a bad day and it's a really good day. You just got to understand how they want to bite at the low times. A lot of times you got to move your depth of where they're biting. I would really like to get my uni lake, but I got to keep dropping this pole to get... Some other ones, so I don't know if it's gonna be real easy. That was quick, yeah. Like I said, there's a few places I'm pretty decent, you know, some places, but here, White Moose, and or I mean, here, especially Alaska and Michigan, them are my best lakes. Alaska and Michigan. Actually, here for Lake Trout is actually what me and Rex and a few others made the finals on on Char Chargers was doing Lake Trout. And then some days you just have bad days and good days. Um, it was the same setup for that I got six in the finals in that I used basically for that qualifier won in this last tournament, and it didn't do very well for me. I just got unlucky. I caught the fish I needed to, but I got unlucky on the size. See, the problem is, is when I drop this pull down, it goes right to the bottom. And I don't want to be on the bottom for Lake Trout. I want to kind of be near, near the top. Yo. Actually, I'm not even going to get cast because that one's going to go off. What lure are you using there, Dragon? I think it looked like a medium spoon, but I could have been wrong there. That work pr medium spoons work pretty good. Oh, that's actually Booyah Man 100 face. It's right next to me. And actually, he was over here first. All right, this is just a regular Lake Trout. We're going to yank this guy in here quick. How far are you done with your missions, Rex? You getting closer? Fuck yeah. Thanks, Dave. It worked, buddy. Did you get it? Yeah, man. Nice. So you got your got one on the floral? Yeah, I got my angle nice. machine three. <laughs> I told Come you, in. it sounds dumb, but it's super easy to get doing it that way. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember who told me. I think it was, I actually think it was Smitty is the one that told yeah, me you, that. Yeah, you said, in your video, you said you, you gave credit to Smitty and Wildcat for telling you. Yeah, yep. So, everybody needs to come and get it if they need it. Fish of Planet would add rod holders and boats. Marcus, the new one does have a rod holder. I can show you. I got it right behind me. And the next time in advance time, remind me guys to show them uh, the rod holders in the new boat. All right. So how many of you guys fishing right now? Obviously, I know Boogeyman's fishing. Or Booyah Man, not Boogie Man. I keep saying that wrong. 
Oh man, I can definitely feel a sick coming back. This morning it was a hacking. I was trying to make the farming simulator game or videos for tomorrow and the next day, and I kept coughing. <clears throat> I just ended my third trip from Brazil. Oh, nice. Oh, that wasn't me. No, I didn't actually go to Brazil. No, it's my kids. <laughs> Um, Booyah Man Red Medium Spoon Half Ounce. Oh, yeah, that one works good. If you use the, um, if you have any bullet spinners, here, what level are you? You're 36. Give me a second. You might be able to buy them. If not, they, uh, I think they're on the, like, five bacon oh. if you want to get one, I think. So... Maybe. Fisherman, I I just realized, or Fire Dragon, yeah, actually, there's a better option. If you go up to do your 30 days at, if you unequip all your gear and just advance 30 days up at Michigan, or fish your 30 days up there, you get your an X Series Medium Spoon 6 0. And if you think that red one does really good, you should wait till you get that 6 0. In fact, I'll put it on right now just to show you. It's the only thing that I really use besides the meat, the bullet spinner. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you get the medium spoon up at the, yeah, you get the medium spoon at Michigan for the, yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> and, and, if he, and, and if he wants to actually, Bullet spinner, he can go to Alaska and do his 30 days and get it there. Yeah, he's not 40 yet, or 38 yet, though. Oh, okay. This lure that I'm using, Fire Dragon, this is the one from um, Alaska from your 30 day challenge up there. And this is, this is one of the best things ever for this lake. Normally, if I wasn't dropping my pole down all the time for the other side, you'd see, but. Uh, honestly, a lot of baits work good for the trophy bull sharks, but if you want a good cheap one, blood is super cheap and it works really well. Also, duck muscle meat. I'm trying to think. There's a lot of stuff that works, but... Oh, there he is, right there. Crap, of course you're going to go off. Oh, this might be the trophy. If it's unique, it's a little unique. But you can see this this Zeus pole that I'm using for a dragon. It it pretty much drags these in pretty good. A unique will fight a little bit, but this is actually the, this is really a little too small to be a, a unique. I bet you this is in the twenty or thirty pound range. Come on, quit wasting my time. I got another fish on. There you go, I can see. 44. I mean, it's not, that's an okay unique, but it's not like a 47 or 48. I lost this one. Yeah, but you want to be careful with that too, though, Booyah, that you're not using too light a gear. I'm pretty sure. Here, let me go back on the stream. Let me check really quick, see if I got, I have to go back in my video, um, go back a minute, I want to check, I'm going to go look, I think I still get three arrows for that. Come on, get it. Give me a second here, guys. I'm just checking to make sure. I have to go back and look. That one didn't fight very good for... I thought it was actually going to be in the 33 pounds. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't. Huh. I can't tell I clicked so quick on it. It looks like, oop, that I got either. I, got, I did have a green arrow on it, but, oop, shoot, don't cancel. I don't want to leave. All right, there we go. I'll have to look next time I catch one. So there's no, there's going to be no uniques now that I get in the lake. Other than I could go over here and try to get a brook trout. Well, and furry trouts, obviously, but. And your whitefish. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't normally get that from this side, though. I have to go to the other side normally to get that. I see a lot of people get it over on this side now, though. Yeah, I hadn't yet. Because I can take a fish on the dock and cast over there and they get it. Yeah, the if it what was what were people using the X series shad I think for it in the middle. Hmm. Oh, you got an eight pounder over there. Oh, nice. Um, let me go ahead. Now, these furry trout aren't going to bite as quick in the antlered salmon over here, but I still wouldn't mind getting them. Let's go out and get a trophy Atlantic over here. Could get some trophies over here. Trophy Splake, Trophy Lake. All of them are over here too. Once you, you can actually catch the uniques over here. Like the Trophy Splake and Trophy or Uni Lake, but if you catch them on the left side, you're not going to get them on the right side again. Not for a while. It might be an antlered salmon. You never know, Booyah. I don't know. I can't see right now. You two a stay-at-home dad? Yeah, you... I do have my own hauling company, but with the sense of COVID thing, had I've been kind of slow on that front. I just do mostly YouTube. I make generally three day videos a day, so I stay pretty busy doing that. These crystals aren't very quick this year, that's for sure. Shoot another firework off, but that's all right. This is clearly a brook trout or a yellow perch. Brook trout, I think. And a little one. Oh, yellow perch. Let's 
should make another one here. How many crappies do you got to do, Rex? Uh, I got 65 of 121 of the red ones. The green ones are almost done, and I'm at 68 of 109 on the blue ones. Yeah. <laughs> Not too many more. Plus, I yeah. think this mission would give me my uh, the Santa Milk Popper, too. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I don't use that as much as I should. It would probably be pretty good at some places. Uh, Mick, yeah, the tokens work a lot better than the ground bait. If you have tokens, you, I don't even generally use the ground bait. Yeah, tokens definitely the way to go. Furry trout. Buckle down and try to get crystal robots again for a little bit. Here, I'm just gonna get in the boat. It's way quicker. Oh, you showing the rod holder? Oh yeah, the rod holder. So if Marcus, if you're watching. If you look, we can cast right out there. And there we go. New boat has got two rod holders. There's one over on this side as well. You can see it when I look over here. But I don't I won't be using that much up here. Kind of no point up here. You can reach all the good spots, basically. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to go and give me two seconds, guys. I'm going to go have a cigarette. All right. They said happy birthday, Mama. Thank you. 
Man, Booty, man, what you got on? Oh, oh, is that a, yeah. That's, uh, oh, man, are you in a big guy leave? What pole is that? Oh, yeah, that could be, honestly, that could be an antlered salmon, but I don't see it surfacing. It's tough. Big Ali, there's a lot of fights. I love that pole, but that's a tough one to use up here. <clears throat> that could be a burbot, a lake. That could be, could be a uni splake, too. I don't know what you have on that pole for bait. Another place, too, that's really at your level, super underrated, obviously, is Florida. You can do bass or the drum or... Oh, crap. I want to do uh, advance. Let's go over here. Oh, gosh. That was not worth the fight, Dragon. I know you're pumped up all kitten that you do lake, but to, you, have, you're, you have to keep in mind the fish that you're losing while you're catching that. There's a, I did, I know that sounds crazy, but I did a video on uh, leveling facts and myths. You should really look at that, Dragon, um, when you get a chance. Uh, because, in fact, when this goes up as a video, I'll try to put it in the comments. I did the, I did a few tests, and it sounds crazy, but you actually, oh, dang it, I want that. Oh, we lost Pala. I wonder what happened to Pala. This PlayStation might have shut off, too. Let's see if he goes offline. Um, oh, another one from Congo. Nice. 438. That rib shad is what everybody's catching the big ones on. Although, Notorious caught his big one on a crankbait. The big crank bait. Yeah. That was crazy. I couldn't believe that. Well, one of his big ones. Trying to get smaller fish. Oh, shiners pretty much will catch the same thing as uh, large minnows. And pretty much the same size. If you want to get smaller, go down to small minnows. And actually, if you cast out, here, give me a second. Let me put these large on. Darn it, where did I... I already went by them, then I could have a moron. The stupid is kicking in. Oh, I need the medium cup bait. If you take small minnows or shiners and cast right here... How far out is that? I think it's like 60 feet. Maybe more. Might be 80. 70. If you cast out 70 feet right in the middle of a dock, you'll get uni brook trout. On that, on that bottom, on that big alley. And they pay pretty well, too. Where are you at right now, Brian? Oh, God, yeah.
Oh, got it, got it. I like a 4 0 hook, by the way. I don't know if I said that. A 2 to a 4 will work fine. Dragon. Oh, you can't afford to leave? Yeah, put. Well, you have shiners. Shiners will work. Robots are killers. Almost makes me want to go up in hook size. Oh, it helps if I have snow on. Come on, why is this... Man, there's a lot of bugs lately in this game. Normally I wouldn't have a problem with it, but at a certain point it gets frustrating. Yeah. Alright, first of all, let's do this. Why is it doing this? Hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Do you see what it's doing? Yeah. Maybe if I put a different cage on. Sinker, and then I'll cast once, and then put a different cage on. So why is it red now? Oh my god, this game has lost its mind. You have got to be kidding me. Cast out and rebring it in, see if that helps. Night. 
Wow, that's disappointing. I'm going to lose the whole thing of B. All right, well. Well, let's actually go down to the Congo for a little bit then since I gotta leave. Yeah, I still gotta watch your, ro your rotation video. Yeah, honestly, I have six spots, but I don't. I know it sounds dumb, but I only like the. The last, like, couple of them. Not saying the other ones aren't good. What I'm saying, though, is there's no need to really have six spots, I guess. You're never going to fit six of them in your bag. Yeah. You know, if you caught unis, you know, it, even if they were small, you maybe get five. Maybe. And that's if you got three. The littlest uniques you could get possible. And you caught them back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> Really, the most feasible is really three. All right, let's go down here. We'll unequip all. What in the world? It's still doing it. Fish and Planet, I love you and you're awesome, but sometimes you really need to uh, screw off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a lot of bugs going on right now. All right, let's go ahead. See if we get a big Nile here. Shouldn't be too bad. They're pretty quick. All right. Also, let's place Speedy's mark down and see where he got that at. I guess we're in a random room. Although I just feel weird this boat going slower. I kind of actually want to equip my other boat because I don't really use the rod holders on this one down here. Well, oh, I did not want to do that. I just wanted to slow down. Seems like a catfish. Nope, it's definitely a perch. This took a little bit for it to surface. Come on now. Okay, I'll start here while we're backing up.
Actually, Bearded started doing YouTube not too long ago, too. He's been doing pretty good. Oh, Beard Wings? Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the first people that was like, at, about the time you were active on the channel, Rex, is when he was, too. Ooh, that was a good one. All right, let the real fishing begin now. Oh, so you've just been playing around since now? No. No, I didn't get to the right spot at first. So I just casted weird. And then the second cast was so I could get back into my spot. Mm. That was a good hit. Might be a trophy. We have to be careful. I lost two of these the other days because I was trying to follow it too close. Oh, gotcha. The hook slipped off. Slipped out. Yeah, I just gotta let it pull me to it. Yeah, this is a trophy. Could be another common, I guess, but. Get up here, butthead. Back, pal. Hey. What I'm happened, you, buddy? I got thrown out of the uh, party network era or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, we didn't Just hear you talk for a while. No, no, I, I went off. I thought <clears> I might as well grab something to eat, so I had something to eat. And when I come back, I was kicked out of the chat. Oh. I, only paused my, I paused my microphone, but. Yeah. Do you have that, that sleep thing or whatever that tells you when, or at least party after so long or what? Or is it just a network error, you think? I think it said it was a network error. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there's some asshole joined my room. I gotta leave now. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian, oh, he must have got kicked too. Hmm. I wonder if PS Levy knocked him out. Brian, did you get kicked or did you did you leave? Have a good one, King Mick. That one throws me off, pal, because your name's Mick too, right? Yeah. <laughs> is that a real common name over there or not really? Uh, it is quite common. Not as common as John, but <laughs> Michael, isn't it? Nick, Michael. Fairly common, I'd say. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, my brother's got weird names, and I got a normal name. I, my brother's name is Styles, and then I have a brother named Drake. Styles, that's pretty cool. Styles, that's a cool name, yeah. <laughs> and then I got David. I want to know how that works out. <laughs> They just ran out of good names and just gave you whatever, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Something even crazier. I have a brother and a sister that aren't related. <laughs> How'd that happen? My, I am half sister with my on my dad's side. And oh, you're half sister. Yeah, but I have a half sister uh, or half brother Styles on my mom's side. So they're literally not related at all. <laughs> no. They never were married. My parents hate each other. <clears throat> 
Oh, don't get, get snagged. Did you get kicked, Brian? Oh, got ya. <clears throat> Dang it. I'm doing that nibbling crap today. That wasn't a very good one anyway, but... Rex, were you, when you were on art, did you take a look at the cinemas and the uh, babies? Yeah, they're, they're doing good. All right. Good, because I, cause I went there first, and then I went to Green On, and as soon as I get to Green On, I'm thinking everything's safe, and then it comes to the damn uh, saber tooth killed me. So I traveled to the bed at uh, Blue On. And from there, I went to Gen 2 because I didn't go there Monday. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So I got a few drops from over there. And then I went back to the island and scoped out Raptor Claws, got a few things from him, got my Santa Laugh emote. So, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'm working on, like, the tree and stuff right now. Gotcha. I, I, I wonder if you can transfer those two servers. I don't think so. Okay. I'll, I can try next time I'm over. You guys are going to try that on GN and bring it back over to the work. Well, probably not. Do you guys think that lures video would be a good idea? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Since they got a whole bunch of new lakes and stuff out, and, yeah. Like rank them and stuff, and yeah. You could even do your like favorite lure uh, lake sort of thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, for lake, yeah, that's not a bad idea either. Although as many lakes as we got now, that might take a while. <laughs> yeah. Was there what now? Twenty three lakes? Twenty four? Sure. Isn't it kinda interesting how some lures just work so much better at different lakes? Oh wow. I don't have to wonder what that is. Woo! <laughs> Hello there. That's got to be a good trophy or a unique. That has to be. That thing damn near took me underwater when it hit. And don't come off. This is why I've been thinking of switching to mono because these things come back bounce. and charge. Yeah. Yeah, if you get chasing them with your boat, like if you use a trolley motor to chase them, sometimes they try to get off. Yeah. This is better to slowly reel them in like I'm doing here now. Even that's getting close to coming off. Come on. Let me sneak in. Once they get to 50 feet, normally it's pretty good. Oh, you're a dick. You're going to do it too, aren't you? You're going to jump right to the surface of the water here in a second. Trying to make me lose you. Yep, there it is. Alright, you're going to do it again. Starting to get, like, real good at knowing when these fish are going to be an asshole to you. Nice one, Dave. 414 PB. Nice. Yeah, as I was gonna say, there was no guessing on that thing yet. Come on, 
to the other spot, catch another one, man? Yeah, I might head over there. I'm gonna head over to the spot on the way, though, I think. I don't think I'm gonna go to the waterfall. I think I'm gonna try to get the uni later. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> uni Kamba. Kamba cat. Oh. That thing's a whale of a fight. That thing's like trying to pull the Titanic out of the bottom. <clears throat> it's not so much the fight as it's just so freaking heavy. That was the second cast I ever had here was a uni combo. 294, it was second on the leaderboard. And actually, someone on my friends list has got a 450 right here. I can't remember who it was. Our 448. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was mine. Yeah, that was mine. Rex, you don't even have you don't even have a uni yet, do you? Uh uh. -uh. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> <coughs> Let's see, you haven't been able to spend a whole lot of time around here. Honestly, it's more important to do that Christmas event anyway. This lake will always be here. Mm-hmm. It's weird how good this pink rib shad works down here. It's crazy. Yeah. Do any of the other colors work as good as that one, or just that one? This one seems to be the best for me, personally. You can ask yeah. Pala, too, but... Definitely. Um, yeah, that one and the night one. Yeah, the uh, six inch one, yeah. The, uh, and also one other one that works, too, is uh, the X-Series 4-inch. I have a 400 on that. Alright, I know you're not that big. Quit acting like you're going to pull me across the lake. You'd be lucky if you're a, nor a normal. Get up here. Do you guys hear my kids hacking? Mm. It's a fi official. We just need a CDC right next to our house because all the time it's, it's, it's ridiculous. I finally start to feel better. Next thing you know, one of them starts coughing. I'm like, ah, come on. <clears throat> At least y'all keeping the cough drop in the industry and floating. It does seem like the crystals that get after peak. Yeah, we had a bug, Jim. Um, it, it wouldn't let me quick the snowball. It's one, not apparently a new bug now. So I figured I would end the stream down here catching a few. It's got a big mount perch, actually. My biggest so far. It doesn't seem like any spot is as good as that last spot, though. Definitely the quickest. What I've seen. Yeah. The waterfall isn't too bad either, but you gotta fight that barrier for no reason. You know, you could be doing it down at that spot. That was a good trophy. That was a good catfish, for sure. 
probably a trophy, but still good. I guess these Nile perch, I was reading on them, I guess in real life they're really good to eat. Are they? Yeah, well it makes sense if you think about it, because they actually are a perch, and they uh, wouldn't have that much of bones in the meat because they got so much meat on them that, you know. Mm. In real life, I, I like I like panfish, which is kind of, it can be annoying because it's got a lot of bones in it. But come on, no, this spot is definitely slower. Man, I bet you that 16-foot crankbait actually probably works pretty good on this spot. I was surprised that flat spoon doesn't work better than what it does. Mm. Yeah, it's not it's not as good as the shad, that's for sure. When I seen the lures, that's the one I thought would be the good one. And the blue and green shad, I don't have that yet to test it though. that down here now, the jigging spoon from Amazon. <coughs> i have to try that. Somebody else told me that too, it worked pretty well at Alaska. Oh nice, booyah. Yeah, you get to some of these really big fish in this game. In real life, when you see them, they're crazy like the... I was watching a video of them catching the Arapaima, and that thing's a monster. <laughs> That's as close to a real fish monster as you're going to get. Yeah, I read about that, yeah. Well, I guess they've been finding a few of them now. The article I read had mentioned that and some other thing that was invasive, too. I can't remember, but... Yeah, that's crazy that the air pipe would probably wreck that ecosystem down there. Cause it's probably perfect for it. Eighteen pounds, full scaled. Oh, mirror carp. Yeah, I don't. I've never caught a carp before. I. The problem is, is I'm not a sport fisherman when I go out. I don't. And I'm not. I'm not just saying that. It's really when I go out, I literally just use a worm on a little hook and float fish for pan. That's all I do. Sometimes I'll bass or 
pike, but very little. Where I live, people like to sport fish pike a lot. Pike, muskie, and sturgeon. That's generally how I tell if somebody's a moron or not up here. They talk <laughs> about what, how they went sturgeon fishing up on Lake Superior. It sounds like it's a touristy dumb thing to do. Sturgeon aren't very good to eat, and they're not only that, but they're kind of starting to get endangered now, and they... Some of them fish are huge up there, too, in the lake. Because sturgeon never get, you know, they grow, they get really big. They definitely grow as they get older. They don't stop growing, so. But I have no idea where that is. Not, not in Wisconsin, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you're not up at the north part. I'm talking about people that go up on Lake Superior. Yeah, because you get them in, like, Lake Winnebago and stuff, too. Yeah. But you, if you, uh... They're having a real issue with them over in Superior. Oh, I didn't even... I never knew they were down there. Is there a lot of them down there or not really? Yeah. Yeah, sturgeon in real life will take about anything, too. Yeah, that's the one thing up here for... Let's see. Huh. Yeah, that's common up here for on the reserve uh, reservations, but honestly, that seems like it'd be freaking tough. <laughs> like, really, when you think about it. No, yeah. I can't really say much. I've been with people that go for big fish, but I never do. But I think the biggest fish I've ever caught probably is like a... I don't know. I, I guess I don't ever... I don't pay enough close attention to it. It had to be a pike of some sort or a pretty good-sized smallmouth. Sometimes you get freak large smallmouth here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this place is just not hitting. All right, let's go back over. In the UK, mostly carp. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pala. We got a bunch of friends from the UK over here. Notorious, Pala, Ian. Actually, I think we're mostly UK now that I think about it. <laughs> the invasion has begun. <clears throat> Pala, well, that... On your Facebook, how big was that carp picture that, or that carp that you caught? That had to have been pretty damn good. Uh, 
that was uh, just under forty pound. That was, yeah, that's a big carp. Uh, the catfish are bigger. Way the wells. Yeah, wells. I've caught a wells and an albino catfish. <clears throat> that was kind of wicked, actually. The albino. Fucking white, mate. But that was how, in France. So. Oh, how big do they get there on them things? France? Yeah. Oh. I think the, the record fish in the lake that I fished was, I think it was about 190 pounds, 180 pounds. Jesus. So like I caught that. The albino one was like 70 pounds, and the whales one I caught, the biggest fish I've ever caught, was uh, just under 90 pounds. Can you believe that some of them guys catch some freak um, carp that big, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah That's yeah. insane. insane. Also in France, yes, sort of 70, 80 pounds, I think is one of the biggest. Yeah. Well, they had that one guy, it wasn't too long, it must have been two months ago, I think I was talking to you about it. It was like 100 pounds, but they were telling him that they didn't think they were going to count it as a world record because it was one of the, where they leave it to grow a fish or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's weird how they get dicey in them in, in the record books over there. I don't know much too much about that stuff. Like I said, in real life, I literally just like fish and I like eating. Yeah. And I don't. I can't stand catfish in real life. I know you like it, Rex, but I can't stand it. So I'll never go after catfish. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the only time I've ever liked it is when um, I can't remember if it was soaked in something overnight. I can't remember. I think the respawn timer in one spot, too, on these is uh, four game hours, but I could be wrong. It's the quickest I've caught a man, anyway. Oh, crap. One last cast. Damn it. I don't know if the switch to the day. Yeah, my biggest fish is definitely around that 14 to... Uh, I don't know what the pike was. And then probably a big smallmouth after that. I don't know. Like I said, I don't normally fish that much for that other stuff. Although I do want to go musky fishing just to, for the art of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never done no musky fishing. Or like yeah, that. it's crazy up here. Well, I live, I live like 15 minutes from the world record. Yeah, the next time you decide to go go for some pike fishing, just come scoop me up and we'll go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, because pike don't get big down there, right, Rex? Really? Oh, we just got little chain pikes and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Red fin pickerels, yeah. Yeah, I think the record is close to 70 on a muskie. I can't remember exactly. Do you, uh, do you guys, any of you guys remember Hammerweb on the friends list? He doesn't play much anymore, but does anybody? Hammerweb? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, he's one of my friends. He, he used to play with them all the time on here, but he's a real pro fisherman. His real name is Jeff Hammer, Hammerweb. And, um, or Jeff Webb, sorry. They call him Hammer. And he's a, I learned a lot of crap from him on this. He's the one that told me line kind of matters on what you're doing. I actually translate him. He's a funny, crazy dude. It's hilarious to talk to him. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> he's not on the bass open. He's on the next one down. But his boat is that, still crazy. He gets a new boat oh, every year. It's like uh, like that. It does. I know it's the whole like southern part of the U.S. and the eastern part of the U.S. They don't really go to the west much, but his boat was something like two hundred thousand that the sponsor pays for every two years. They get like a new Damn. one. Damn. Yeah. So he's probably like, like on the uh, elite series. Back I don't know what series. it is. I I have to. I can ask him. He might have retired now because it's been two years since I really got. I I've talked to him a little bit, but I haven't talked to him much about fishing since then. But. Yeah, I, I, I try to catch them every Saturday morning when they Saturday mornings when they got the Best Master Series and stuff on the Elite Series. I know that he went three years in a row getting in the top three. That's one thing I can tell you about it. Damn. And then his boy started doing it. And he started doing really good. He sounds like a crazy guy until you get him talking about fishing. In real mm -hmm. life, and then you're like, this motherfucker really knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like somebody has a passion for something, and you can just see it when they talk about it. Yeah. Definitely him. Yeah, he has like a 14 pound or something like that um, largemouth when he was in Texas. It wasn't Damn. state record, but it was only, like, that's only, like, two pounds off or something of that record, you know. That's a big mm. fish. Super fun guy to be around, though. Never a dull moment with him. Their series, a lot of times, are in rev reservoirs, which is weird to me, being from Wisconsin. Man-made lakes all over the place. Like, when I go down, like, when I go down to your area, Rex, that's what baffles me the most. It's like you get out of the Great Lakes area, and there's a there's a lot of reservoirs. They're not there's not very mm -hmm. many natural water places. Uh -huh. Where you, you where I live, and then like in northern Minnesota, like across from me, you cannot go a mile without touching a body of water of some sort. Whether it's a little crap creek or like I right now, I can see two lakes from my house from my front yard. But I also live in a town called Cumberland. It's called the Island City. It's got three lakes surrounded by it. I'm on the edge of it, so I can only get. I'm only see two of them. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, that's probably the biggest thing. Even I guess even Illinois down down by you probably has quite a bit of water too, still, doesn't it, Brian? Yeah. <coughs> Can't quit hacking. But it's really cool because every place has like something really cool to offer. Some really good damn barbecue down your way, Rex. I'll tell you that. I go down mm -hmm. that way. That's what I always get. And I cook good barbecue. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, I'm a master of the grill. <laughs> I am not. I'm good at cooking the shit I like, and nobody else likes it. I yeah, like I, I like, like raw meat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like doing my own pulled pork, put it in a crock pot for about eleven hours, and break it all up. You know, they kind of do something similar, believe it or not, for beef jerky. You never guess that. For real? 
Yeah, I was the lab supervisor for Jack Luke's. Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember you telling me about that. Yeah. Yeah, they put it in ovens for about five hours. It's not as warm as you think. It's only like 150 degrees. More of a smoke, mm. isn't it, than a yeah. cook. Yeah. That's one place that I worked at. In I, this is so counterproductive. You guys would never think I'd be a super. If you guys met me in real life, you would never be like you were a supervisor in a lab. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that place. So. And we did a lot of testing there. That's a place that we're like, when I see their product on the shelf, I still buy it. Because I was like, that place does their shit right. And it's clean and it's, you know, super picky on what they, they allow and don't allow. Yeah, the, I actually live next to the home plant of Jack Lynx when I was up there, my nog. Okay. That guy literally, uh, Link and his Jack Link and his uh, son and, and his brother Jay literally built that town. It's just a little dinky town, but they wouldn't be there if it wasn't for them guys. It's like a town of eight hundred or something, and they have like a multi-million dollar. Um, community center up there that they've just donated the money for. Mm. Good guys, but they're a little different. Like they, they're not allowed in Russia. They were poaching. They're poaching animals from a helicopter. Like how? You just should be thankful that you're alive. You're taking yeah. around in Russia like that. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. They're decent people. They're just a little different. I think there's a point when you make that much money that you're different. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. He could, well, for, I think he's got to be one of the richest people in Wisconsin. And I know the family at one time, I don't know about anymore, but at one time, they actually had to sell off beef because in the U.S. they owned their family as a whole and to, owned over, like, it was like 53% of actual U.S. beef. It was insane what they actually owned. Which is 53% is a really crazy number when you think about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they were getting slapped with a monopoly on it. I guess that's, I don't know though, I never asked them, but I guess that's how they originally started making their money was doing beef cattle. Damn, this really slowed down for me all of a sudden. This spot almost never slows down. What part of Alabama do you live in, Rex? Montgomery. So more towards the middle? Yeah. Central, yeah. Right, right below Burn, about two hours from Birmingham. Yeah, so the, what is it, the west side of it? Yeah, the west side of it. I bought, we went and bought a, that javelin down there. And there's, like, a part out there, there's a little town out there, where it's not, I don't necessarily call it a southern draw, they just talk really slow. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I couldn't, god damn it, I wish I could remember that town name. I was wondering if they were just, if it was just a different accent, because of that area. Yeah. AMC. Couple of them, a seventy and a seventy-one. Huh.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like those gremlins. Those gremlins are pretty cool. <laughs> like from Wayne's Wayne's World. <laughs> I'm kind of biased. I I'm more of a just a javelin one. That's why I like I've always like the javelin. But that's what the beautiful thing about cars is you can make a million different types of everything. Yeah. One thing might not be like I don't I don't like bugs, but the Volkswagen Bug Car Clubs, man, they're some of the most diehard car people out there. When it really when you really get to know them. And I, I'm not a Volkswagen bug person. <laughs> oh, wow. Gosh darn it, my phone is being slow. Oh, and 340. Or 343, sorry. I'm trying to pull it up right now. It's being a pain in the ass. My phone does not like the PlayStation app whatsoever. Come on. Jesus. Yeah, it acts funny on my phone, too, sometimes. It's just so freaking slow sometimes. <clears throat> so you catching some big ones, Paolo? Yeah. Well, not the one I want, though. I'm all trying to do this bloody flat spoon thing, man. I cannot get a uni on this flat spoon. At night. Mm-hmm. You don't have to fill up your bag quick, though, I've got to say. I'm just skipping nights at the moment. Three, five. Night five, should I say. Come on, now. Why is... Mate, you, you too, too man. Why can I not find that? It's funny when you you always find the stuff you want till you go to look for it and it's <clears> gone. <throat> oh, this is the fifty nine. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end the stream for you guys watching, but you guys have a good one, and thanks for watching.